What is up everyone and welcome to a video on how to play Buck the interesting way. So to begin, the first thing I want to say is, Nintendo, if you're watching this video, please for the love of god do not copyright strike me because I know you have an itchy stringer figure when it comes to issuing copyright claims to anything related to a certain With that said, to everyone watching this video, I would like to introduce you to a loadout that, to be honest, is actually quite common. This is a loadout that I personally like to call Buck the Goomba Snopper, in which you are mainly focused around Buck's heroic leap ability. The difference here compared to other loadouts is your main priority is to get as many kills as you can with the leap itself. I'm just joking. <laughs> That's a, that is a lot harder than it sounds. I don't recommend it because I have tried it myself. Uh, seriously speaking right now, before we get into the actual details of the loadout, I challenge any of you viewers out there to actually use this loadout and get a majority of your kills with the leap. Because as someone who went into Paladins with this idea originally, I can't tell you how annoying it was to be extremely close to killing a target with the leap, only to have to finish them off with the shotgun. That shit is fucking trash! So yeah, for the loadout, the two cards that you must have in your deck is Leg Day and Seismic Wave. Besides those two cards, the rest of the loadout is really up to you guys. I should mention that this loadout lesson was scripted before patch OB44. However, I do highly recommend the legendary card Bounce House if you really want to take this loadout to the next level. It is pretty crazy the amount of mobility you will get from that legendary card, so I do highly recommend it. Of course, if you want to stick to the way I had to play, since, as I said before, this lesson was made before OB44, you can use the legendary card Ensnare. And personally, I actually enjoy using Ensnare more, since I like big numbers. As for playstyle, the one you will be adopting revolves around the simple tactic of jumping on your target, as Mario would, netting your target, as Mario would, and blasting away your enemy with a shotgun, as... Mario would. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a game out there where Mario uses a shotgun, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, using the legendary ensnare card, if you land everything while only firing your shotgun once, that is around 1400 damage instantly, not including the 2000 damage that you can deal with the remaining 5 shots from your shotgun. Which may not sound a lot, however that is assuming you are just aiming for body shots. If you land headshots on their hand, the damage actually skyrockets to the freaking heavens. It is an insane how much damage you can do if you land headshots with Buck. So yeah, even though Buck has a shotgun, I highly recommend going for headshots whenever you can because it increases your damage by twofold. Not only that, headshots give you 1% more ult boost compared to regular body shots. As a result, headshots are so important if you really want to play Buck to his maximum capabilities. For items, if you are using Ensnare as your legendary, I recommend Kronos in order to throw out your net shot as much as possible for extra damage. As for the legendary Bounce House, I would recommend Morale Boost instead. Picking up Kronos with Bounce House from my experience is overkill. However, if you really want to take that challenge that I mentioned in the beginning of the video, where you get a majority of your kills with the leap, then Kronos is the way to go. As for the rest of the items, well, it's kind of a blurry line at that point, since you do have a sustain ability and the ability to leap out of danger. Honestly speaking, if played correctly, it is very hard to die as Buck. Most of the time, the enemy champions will have a hard time chasing you, so the rest of the items I will leave to your discretion. With that said, here are a couple tips I want to give you in order to help boost your success rate with Buck. First off, if you're playing as Buck, do not jump on any enemy tanks unless they are by themselves and you have backup. Fernando may be sexy as hell and worthy of becoming a princess, but at full health your shotgun will do freaking nothing to him. Instead, pick out the damage and support champions first. If you can't land Buck's net shot on those champions, they are usually sitting ducks for your shotgun. Kanessa, for example, being one of the easiest targets that Buck can go after, as well as Drogos. From personal experience, I can tell you it is really hard as a Drogos to hit a Buck when he is in mid-air. Another tip I have is to use your ultimate after you have used your abilities, as once you activate your ult, all of your cooldowns are refreshed, which can give you more potential burst damage 
with your abilities. Do not underestimate the amount of damage you can do with shotgun at longer ranges. You can do upwards of 300 damage if you carefully aim, which can be enough to finish off opponents as they try to get away. Lastly, Buck's Heroic Leap is amazing, but it can get you into sticky situations even if you have bounce house and you have more jumps. Do not overestimate Heroic Leap as an escape because while it can get you into position for a ton of kills, it can also get you into position to be killed. With great power comes great responsibility, okay? And that is pretty much about it. Buck is a pretty self-explanatory champion compared to all the other champions in Paladins who is relatively easy to understand. However, that comes with the downside that most newer players overestimate his abilities to heal and escape because he's so easy to understand. Played correctly, Buck isn't completely about jumping on people and getting kills, but more about distracting the enemies with his muscles and shotguns. That isn't to say that Buck can't get kills, he certainly can, as you have seen throughout the video. It's just that because of his recovery ability, most people enjoy throwing him into the middle of the enemy team and expect him to walk out unharmed. So yeah, that definitely isn't how Buck works. Of course, you can make him into a tank, but well, the fact is, it's more fun to jump around as one of the most famous video games